another tutorial from SQL Maestros. Today we are going to talk about IO completion wait time. Now we all know that IO subsystem performance is super critical for overall SQL Server performance. And whenever we talk about tracking IO waits, we are mostly focusing on page IO latch wait type. Now don't get me wrong, page IO latch wait type is really critical. You got to see the wait time, wait count, and compare it with your baselines. Page IO latch would mean that IO requests are waiting to acquire a latch on the buffer. And when we talk about this buffer 8K page, we are specifically talking about the data page or the index page. But SQL Server is doing a lot of different types of IO, the non-data page and the non-index page IOs. And whenever there is a wait related to some of these non-data and non-index page IOs, a um, lot of these classes go into IO completion wait type. Now, not all of them, but some of them. There are other wait types like write, log, etc. But today's demo will focus on IO completion wait type. Now, if you are someone who has been running all these wait stats queries and you have seen IO completion coming in like top 10, top 15, you would be wondering what are those workloads or queries that are, that are actually causing wait time related to IO completion. So here are some examples. If SQL Server is performing a sort operation and the sort data spills down to disk, so SQL Server would create intermediate tables to perform this sort operation. And if there is a delay in reading and writing to this table, it will go to IO completion wait type. Similarly, when SQL Server is performing merge join or when SQL Server is reading and writing to, let's say, allocation pages like GAM, SGAM, etc., all of this will go to IO completion. Another classic example could be like eager spooling. So whenever SQL Server is dealing with that type of operator, um, IO completion wait type will pop up. So day in, day out, we deal a lot with page IO latch, but here is an example to show you specifically IO completion. So whenever you see IO completion as one of those top weights, you got to find those queries that are doing these behind the scene operations. So let's straight away jump into the demo. And on your screen, let's first look at sysdmos wait stats DMV. And I have filtered on IO completion and page IO latch SH. If I run this query, you will see some numbers flying in here. So let's go and clear all of them. I'm using dbcc SQL perf command, the DMV and the clear statement there as a clause. So let's go and clear them off. Let's go and check this. And you will see all the numbers are reset to zero. Now let's jump over to the workload tab. And here is this first example where I'm writing a simple select statement and order by line total descending. Now there is a reason why I've used the order by clause here. I could have just uh, written a simple select statement without the order by clause. That will be evident to you in a moment. Now I'm going to use AdventureWorks for this demo and let's run this select statement in a loop. I'm going to turn off the actual execution plan for the moment. I'm turning it off, not turning it on. And I'm going to turn it on later. Let's go and execute this and jump back to the wait stat queries and watch the waiting task count and waiting time in milliseconds. So let's go and execute this. What you are going to observe as I keep refreshing this query is the wait task count for page IO latch SH goes up and the wait time in milliseconds of course goes up, but you will see IO completion is idle, right? I mean, there's nothing really waiting on this particular wait time. Now this is just, just to show you that you have a query that is running, that is reading and writing to let's say the data pages. And so you have some delays in there and that's being uh, tracked in page IO latch SH. Now SH here stands for shared because the select query is just reading, right? We're not asking to read that page because we want to write. We are just reading. Anyway, so let's go and stop this workload for the moment. And you will see, of course, page uh, IO latch SH, you know, high flying numbers when you have um, more IO intensive queries and you have multiple users reading and writing to uh, your tables and indexes. 
Now let's just take the select query here and turn on the actual execution plan. And as I told you, there is a reason why I have used the order by clause here. So let's go and execute this. This is the query that runs and let's jump over to the execution plan here and you will observe the sort operator. Of course you expected that because there was an order by clause here and look at this sort operator. Nothing unusual about this sort operator but just note there is no warning on the sort operator here. Um, typically you see a warning on sort operator and when you see it means that it's dealing with probably lot of data and the sort data is being spilled down to disk. It's not happening in this case and that's probably one of the reason why IO completion all the numbers were zero. Let me go back and show this to you. I did, didn't I just I called out this one. Yeah, IO completion all numbers are zero. So nothing really weighted on this specific weight type. So this was, uh, an, uh, in other words, I could also say that this was of course an in-memory sort. So the sort data wasn't really that big that SQL Server had to spill it down to disk. Everything was done in memory. So all good there. Now let's take another example. Again, Adventure Works, and I have a, a simple select query here, which is inserting, it's select in, into. So it's inserting into another table, and then there is an order by clause here as well. Let's go and run this query. Now what this query is doing, et cetera, et cetera, is not very important for us. What's important is that here is a query which is doing a cross apply, and there is an inner query which has the sort operator. This is going to, do some sort operation which is going to be expensive and the data is going to be spilled down to disk. So remember, when is uh, IO completion uh, class weight type being used? When you have these intermediate sort results, right? The merge results or dealing with uh, system allocation pages and when you have delays in reading and writing these, uh, this type of data, uh, and you know, like sort, for example, here that we are going to talk about is actually called as Bob which is big output buffer. So that's the kind of data SQL Server is dealing with when it is dealing with sort data. So let's go and run this. And I'm going to turn on actual execution plan here. This is going to take probably a minute or so. So let's go and execute this. And while this is running, I'm going to jump over to this query and watch the numbers in IO completion. So let's go and execute this. And there you go. Now you can see IO completion weight type. As I keep refreshing, you can see the numbers are increasing for your uh, waiting task count and wait time in milliseconds. And it'll keep increasing until the query ceases, until the query completes. So you can see 606, et cetera. And again, these are very small numbers, of course, just for the purpose of demo so that you get the concept. Now behind the scene, of course, there is some weight happening uh, related to some kind of operation. I've told you that is sort, but anyway, some kind of operation uh, that is triggering this class of IO completion weight type. Okay, so this is still going on. And now while this is happening, you can also see that page IO latch SH is constantly increasing, increasing a bit faster, but that is expected, right? Because you're also dealing with data and index pages. But then apart from dealing with data and index pages, what else is happening? So, okay, I think we're done with the query. That is where we are. And you can see IO completion weight type coming on top. Now, you have, when, when, when you have many of these queries, um, you can probably see IO completion as one of the top weights. Let's jump over to the workload tab and this is what you really want to see. I'm going to jump over to the execution tab here and you can figure out things yourself. Let's go and expand this a bit. So you have, uh, you have a lot of these iterators here and only for the purpose of demo, let us focus on the two sort operators that you have here. One of them is here and the other one is here. Now, if you look at these two, you can clearly see one distinct uh, difference here. That is the right hand side sort operator has an exclamation mark. That is a warning symbol out there, which is something unusual there. So let's go and take the cursor over here and zoom in to read what's going on. And you have seen this so many times, right? Operator use TEMDB to spill data during execution with spill level one and two, et cetera. Sort wrote these many pages and read these many pages, et cetera. These are the pages we are talking about, the big output 
buffer the intermediate table results to perform the sort operation remember sort operation also happened with the other simple query this one right but you didn't see IO completion triggering at that point you're seeing it at this time because the sort operation is spilling down to disk and that's exactly why you are seeing IO completion coming right on the top I gave you about three to four examples as to when you will see IO completion wait type triggering but there could be more. Um, I just could figure out a few of them and I see that practically happening in production. So yes, the, the next task is to go and drill down and find out those problematic queries that are causing this specific wait type. Remember, IO is super critical for SQL Server performance. Hope you liked the video. Cheers. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit sqlmaestros.com. There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there. Video courses, master classes, lab kits, ebooks, blogs, hands-on labs, and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter, at the rate SQL Maestros, and myself, A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.